What's happening everybody? Hello and welcome back to Turtle Blast where we discuss about everything Marvel and the MCU. Marvel has been making some recent changes to the MCU. From changing and shifting release dates to turning upcoming series into films like the case of Armor Wars. Marvel will keep making these changes till they come up with the very best plan on how things will run and that is absolutely a good thing. Yet again, there seems to be another remarkable change and that is exactly what we'll be talking about in this video. In other news, it appears that we have some interesting news about Nemo of Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Yes, the most anticipated upcoming movie. By the way, tickets for Black Panther Wakanda Forever are still on sales. Guys, we'll be giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber. More on how to win at the end of this video. And if this is your first time, please subscribe and enable the post notification so you don't miss out on subsequent videos. While Marvel Studios has already introduced a lot of new characters, one superhero that has yet to debut in any form is Nova. Kevin Feige, president of Marvel Studios, hinted that Nova would come soon after his cancelled debut in Avengers Infinity War. He said that they are not shying away from the cosmic end of storytelling right in the sweet spot of Nova Corp and Nova himself. Since then, information about the advancement of a Nova project has begun to surface with one rumor even suggesting that production will begin in 2023. Recently, a new exciting Nova update has just been made public. According to the Cosmic Circus, Nova will be featured as a Marvel Studios special presentation that would eventually make its Disney Plus debut. If this report is accurate, Michael Giancino's Werewolf by Night and James Gunn's The Garden of the Galaxy Holiday Special will be followed by Nova. The project is still in its early phase of production, according to a May 2020 report from the Illuminadri whose sources were very confident that a movie adaptation will be made for Phase 5 or later at the time. In March of 2022, Deadline reported that Sabio Pizarda, the author of Moon Knight, will pen the Nova project. The site added that according to its sources, it would either be a theatrical movie or a Disney Plus streaming series, with the latter being the more probable choice. According to the most recent report from the Cosmic Circus, Marvel Studios now intends to introduce Nova in a standalone special rather than a limited series episodic adventure. Big question now is, will Nova be presented well as a Marvel Studios special owing to how short special presentations are? In my opinion, in as much as Nova MCU debut has been long anticipated, it is still unclear whether the special presentation format will be appropriate for the character. Marvel's special Werewolf by Night showed us that a special presentation is best for telling a standalone story without the need of numerous episodes. If this is anything to be true, Nova will take a special presentation format. It means that the Nova project might be exclusively devoted to one portion of the character's story before the latter appears in a Disney Plus series or another MCU film. Nova's special presentation could focus on his origin story, or it could even follow him already as a hero that has been patrolling space for years now. Another story possibility for Nova could rely on the previous rumor where it states that both the iteration of the character Richard Ryder and Sam Alexander will be featured in the project with them being active at the same time. Having said that, this may suggest that the special presentation may be used in a way to make use of Ryder's knowledge of the Nova mantle while teaching Alexander the ropes on Earth. Another original strategy that would resemble the film is the special presentation ability to explore both space and Earth by having both characters appear in the world. Whatever the case, the advent of Nova in the future is expected to significantly increase the cosmic aspect of the MCU and whichever way it is presented, I know fans will be truly excited. With that being said, now let's talk about Black Panther Wakanda Forever's Namor. While much of the buzz surrounding Black Panther Wakanda Forever are centered on the film's returning cast and loss of Chadwick Bosman of Blessed Memory, this long-awaited sequel has more than one mission to accomplish come November 11. Black Panther Wakanda Forever will once again broaden the Marvel Cinematic Universe in addition to paying homage to Bosman and T'Challa. Returning to Wakanda, Marvel audience will also discover the underwater world of the Talukan and its ruler, Namor the Submariner. While the Submariner has been portrayed in Black Panther 2 promotion as the movie's villain, Namor actor Tinoch Ureta asserts that the character is more than just a villain. In the run-up of the movie's debut, Ureta has a little more to say and to tease about Namor the Submariner and what viewers may anticipate from him going forward. Tinoch Ureta hinted at Namor's future while asked by Total Films about the possibilities of a crossover and spin-off for his character. He said, I hope so, I hope so. 
because I want a bigger contract. I want more zeros in my contract. No, I'm joking. I mean, the mythology around Nemo is huge. You can be crazy with all of the cultural aspect, and you can create a long thing with Nemo because they take a fantastic source of stories and mythology and religion and everything. So, I hope they decide to keep going with the character, past its own story or whatever. This is a direct hint that Nemo's character will be progressive in the MCU and will probably feature in other Marvel movies. Also, Nate Moore, the director of Black Panther 2, has nothing but admiration for Hureta's performance. In addition to acknowledging how the actor is such a soulful performer, Moore also hinted at what audience can expect from Nemo, nothing that he is more powerful than anybody else in the film. Tinashe is such a soulful performer, and so much is happening in his eyes and in his body language. And he kind of excuses his power, and he is, indeed, an incredible physical character more powerful than anyone else in the film. Even when we cast Tinash, we didn't really audition people because we were looking for a certain quality and he kind of just had this in his previous work. While Nemo will undoubtedly cause a stir in Black Panther 2, most of the discussion around the Submariner has focused on the adjustment Marvel Studios made in order to bring him to life. Since Nemo's comic debut in 1939, Atlantis, rather than Talokan, has been the character's home. Marvel Studios hasn't entirely disregarded Nemo's comic book's root. The MCU Submariner is a mutant, as evidenced by his mutant features such as pointed ears and ankle wings. Fans were reassured by Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige that were very much loyal to the comic history, but they were with a rewritten tale that makes it more culturally specific for the MCU. Adapting a comic character and making some changes with their story isn't new with Marvel, and Namor isn't an exception, provided the character still retains prominent comic features. Nemo will debut in Wakanda Forever, which will debut in theaters on the 11th of November of 2022. Guys, back to our giveaway. We'll be giving out a brand new PlayStation 5 on this channel to one lucky subscriber once we hit 1,000 subscribers. And all you have to do to win is subscribe, turn on the post notification, like our videos, and comment. And one lucky subscriber will be chosen from the comment section to win our brand new PlayStation 5. Also, we want to say thank you to everyone who has supported us this far. We truly appreciate it. What are your thoughts on this video? Do you think making Nova Project a special presentation is a good move? And how much are you anticipating Nemo in the upcoming Black Panther Wakanda Forever movie? Please, don't forget to like this video and share your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I hope to see you in the next one.